Good morning, friends. Welcome to Storytime with Miss Mary. Today's story is about the universe. Today's art project is also about the universe. And when you are finished, you'll want to set it aside because we're going to use it in tomorrow's art project as well. So let's get started learning about the universe. Many astronomers, astronomers are scientists that look at space and the stars. They think that our universe was created a very, very long time ago in a gigantic explosion called the Big Bang. Let's turn the page and see our universe as it exists today. That is our universe. You can see there are lots of planets, stars, moons, and other celestial objects. Originally, there were nine planets, but as of today, there are eight planets. The planets are currently Mercury, Venus, Mars, Earth, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. But Pluto used to be a planet. It takes one year for Earth to travel around the sun. It takes one day or 24 hours for Earth to spin around. So it takes 24 hours for the Earth to go around the sun, making our day. If you look out the window at night, you can see the moon. Find out about the moon. It takes about one month for the moon to travel around the Earth. So that's Earth and that's the moon. The moon travels around us and it takes a month. From 1969 to 1972, Americans sent astronauts to explore the surface of the moon. The moon has no air. The surface is covered with high mountains and deep craters. So there are rocket ships that the astronauts use to get to the moon. There's the moon. You can see it's made of rock and there are a lot of craters. Astronauts traveled on foot and in lunar rovers or moon buggies while on the moon. They brought back hundreds of pounds of moon rocks. So there's the astronaut. There's the moon buggy. It's a space station. Our Earth, Earth is where we live, is made up of layers, the crust, mantle, outer, and inner core. So let's count how many layers is that? One, two, three, four. Earth is made up of four layers. Mars, Venus, and Mercury are rocky planets. Mercury looks like the moon, but it is much hotter. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, so Mercury is a lot hotter than all the other planets. Mars has the deepest canyon and the highest mountain known in the solar system. The Magellan spacecraft found that underneath thick, poisonous clouds, the surface of Venus is marked with volcanoes. Jupiter is the biggest planet. It is made of gases. The Voyager 1 spacecraft discovered that Jupiter has very faint rings. Saturn's rings are mostly chunks of ice. So Saturn and its rings, and that's all chunks of ice and some rock. Uranus is made of gases that make it blue-green, while Neptune's gases make it blue. Neptune has the strongest winds of any planet. There's green Neptune and blue Uranus. The sun is an enormous ball of hot gas that produces light. The spacecraft Ulysses began studying it in 1995. So there's our sun, which is a great big ball of gas, very hot. The sun will burn for billions of years. The dark spots on the moon, on the sun, 
are cooler areas. Still very hot though, but cooler than the orange parts. The naked eye can see thousands of stars. With binoculars, you can see hundreds of thousands. With a telescope, how many do we think with a telescope? You can see millions of stars with a telescope. Look for the big and little dippers. We learned about the big and little dippers last week. The handle star of the little dipper shows which way is north. There's looking up at the stars. Have you ever looked up at the stars? There are so many of them. And that's an observatory with a big microscope where you can look at the stars and the galaxy. The naked eye can see oh, about that. Galaxies are made of stars and dust. Galaxies come in many different shapes. Do you know what the name of our galaxy is? Our galaxy is called the Milky Way. It is spiral. Our solar system is on the inside edge of one of the outer arms. You can see it in this picture. There's our little, little solar system. Our galaxy is one of billions in the universe. Young stars are blue, white, and hot. At the end of their life, stars will swell, then explode. Most become so small that we call them white dwarfs. It's a star becoming a white dwarf. Some space history. The Russian satellite Sputnik was the first man-made satellite. The dog Laka was the first living being to orbit the Earth. The American Apollo and Russian Soyuz met in space. You can see some of the rockets. Thank you for joining me, guys, and don't forget to check out the art project. Have a great day.